Hello Bayside, Miss D here again. Hope you all are doing well and staying healthy while you're at home. Today we'll, we will be discussing dream destinations. I have a lot of places I dream about going to visit. How about you? Do you have some dream places that you'd like to go to? I'm sure you do, everyone does. Today I will be taking you on a guided tour of the top five national parks right here in our own beautiful country of the United States. I have visited a few national parks, but my goal is to visit and see them all. The first national park that we will visit is Yosemite National Park, right here in our great state of California. Yosemite is located in the Sierra Nevada mountains of California. It spans over 761,268 acres. Yosemite became the United States third national park in 1890. There are more than 400 species of animals that live in Yosemite. Most people visit Yosemite between May and October. It's a beautiful place. See the pictures? Yosemite is considered the birthplace of rock climbing. Yosemite is known for the giant sequoia trees. It is also known for the tallest waterfall in North America, Yosemite Falls. There are also over 300 black bears that live in Yosemite, maybe more. There are more than 800 miles of hiking trails. It's a fascinating place to visit, and I hope you will get to go and visit there someday. Our next national park we will learn about is, you guessed it, the Grand Canyon National Park, located in Arizona. Temperatures vary greatly within the Grand Canyon. It is full of hidden caves, but only one is open to the public. The drive from the North Rim to the South Rim is about 200 miles, which takes about four hours in a car. No one really knows how old the Grand Canyon is. The Grand Canyon is full of fossils. There's a town inside the Grand Canyon. It is called Supai Village. It is home to the Grand Canyon pink rattlesnake. Can you imagine seeing a pink rattlesnake? There are six different kinds of rattlesnakes that live inside the Grand Canyon. The air at the Grand Canyon is among the cleanest air in the United States. It's an amazing place to visit and I hope you all will be able to go soon. Now we will visit Yellowstone National Park located in Wyoming. It spreads out at 3,472 square miles north to south and 54 miles east to west. Yellowstone is home to more than 500 active geysers or spouting waters. It is home to the largest concentration of mammals. There are over 285 species of birds. There are over 290 waterfalls. It has at least 1,000 miles of hiking trails. If you love nature and the outdoors, you will love Yellowstone National Park. Please visit it when you can. Next on our guided tour, we will visit Zion National Park, which is located in the beautiful state of Utah. It could be called Heaven on Earth, a red rock wonderland created by wind, water, and snow. Mormon pioneers arrived in the 1860s and were so overwhelmed by the natural beauty that they named it Zion after the Old Testament name for Jerusalem. It is home to over 800 native plant species, including more flowers than anywhere in Utah. If you love nature and wilderness, you will love the natural beauty of Zion. It has amazing hiking trails and it's a great place to visit. Our last but not least national park is Glacier National Park, located in the wonderful state of Montana. 
It was established as a national park on May 11th, 1910. It is 1,583 square miles with over 1 million acres. It has over 762 lakes and 563 streams. There are at least 24 different types of fish that live in Glacier National Park, many campgrounds, and many hiking trails and bike paths. There's, a, there's at least 71 species, species of mammals and over 270 species of birds. At, at least 1,132 different species of plants. All these facts make Glacier National Park a wonderful place to visit. And a wonderful place to visit, to explore. I really hope you enjoyed learning about I hope you really enjoyed learning about the national parks and I really hope you enjoyed the guided tour. Please visit these places someday if you can. I'm sure you would love it and you would be amazed. Please keep wearing your masks whenever you leave your house and stand six feet apart from all those who don't live with us. Keep washing your hands for at least 20 seconds with soap and water by doing all these things, we can stay healthy. And that's very important. Until next time, always do your best. Bye.